Dear students, welcome to this tutorial on how to use the tool Teams. First, you are going to log in to your institutional email from NAT's main page. Then come to the applications setting here on the upper left corner of your institutional email and choose Teams. Open Teams. And uh, here I recommend you to download the desktop version. Once you do that, be sure that you are on the main button Teams here and come to join or create team on the upper right corner of the setting there. Then click on create team again. I suggest you to choose class if you have these options here and then enter the name of your team, your first team. You are going to create a team per group in charge. So if you have group A and group B, you are going to create a team for group A and another team for group B. Start with the name of the course in which you are doing your practicum. Let's suppose you're working on English 1, English 1, group A. Next. Now it's time to add your students. You will get a list similar to this one. So you are going to concentrate on the institutional email of your students in charge. You have to copy one by one. Wait for the system to identify your student, click on it and add the following. You have to add, it's necessary to add one by one and click on the name so that the system will identify. Okay, you add all of your students, two students, five students, depending on the list. Once you have added all of your students assigned for group A, for example, you add all of them here. Click on add and close. And here you will have your English A group A formed. There is a notification in which they tell you and your students that you have created the group and that you have added them. You have to, do re to repeat the procedure for group B. Again, you do click here on Teams and uh, join or create team and you create your group B. Now, how do you start a class? There are two options. The first one is to come here below to the icons under the chat, under this chat box here, and click on Meet Now. So this screen will be shown to you. What, when to add a subject? Yes, I recommend you to add the date. Let's suppose today is uh, September 23rd. So add the year, the month, and the day the name of your course, English 2, your group, if this meeting is for group A or for group B, group A, and the number of the session, session 4, 10. Remember that you, you will accomplish 16 sessions with both groups. So let's suppose this is uh, group A, session number one, and click on Meet Now. Here you can uh, open or close your camera, activate or mute your microphone. Uh, here is the button to share your screen. In more actions, you will find the option to record. Remember that you have to record all your classes from beginning to end. And uh, be attentive that on the right, you will have the list of your students. All of your students in the group will uh, appear here. So you click, at the moment of the meeting, you click um, over the name of the student, click on the three dots, 
and ask to join. Click on ask to join for each one of your students. Okay, you ask to join. Uh, they will get a notification to join the call, to join the video call with you. They will um, show, be shown here below, or their screen will be divided according to the number of uh, people participated here. Uh, in this uh, button, you can show the conversation, this meeting chat that you can use to interact also with your students. You can send um, files here or you can send links or uh, whatever material you want to share with them. Once your students have come to the class, don't forget to start recording. Here in the more actions button, start recording. Uh, as your class is uh, being developed, you may need to share your screen. Use this button here, share, and be sure to check include system audio, and then uh, you can share a particular window or a file or desktop. I recommend desktop so you won't have any any problems to show uh, to share to show a, a file or to show a web page or to show a, a video, for example, or a PowerPoint presentation and uh, whatever material that uh, you need to share uh, with your students. Then you can stop sharing here, you click. You can also ask your students to share your screen if you want uh, them to make an exercise or something and everybody wants uh, to see each one uh, performance is possible to ask them also. They will have also the option to share. So that is a, a possibility. Uh, once you have finished your class, don't forget to stop recording. Again, here, stop recording and hang up your phone. Okay, you hang up, you finish, and your video will be automatically uploaded in the cloud Microsoft screen. I'm going to show that in a moment. And that, this was uh, one of the possibilities, but you can also uh, schedule the meeting, schedule the class. So you are going to use, in that case, the calendar option here on the left. So you come to calendar. It is uh, uploading. Uh, okay, and let's suppose this is the date you choose, so obviously. Uh, you can have here your work week or a week, the whole week to have a Saturday and Sunday available also. Let's suppose this coming Friday, we will have class at 2 p.m., okay? So you are going to schedule on this Friday 17 here at 2 p.m. So click on the, on the date. At the title, I recommend you to add it the same way. The same way. Uh, year, month, and date. In this way, you are going to uh, name all of your videos. Group A, for example, group A, and the number of the session, one or two or five, uh, whatever it is, it is. You can add here your students if you wish. On, um, be sure to put here the correct um, date. Let's suppose it's for September 24th, it's at 2 p.m. and it is going to last one hour and a half, for example. Uh, add a channel. Be sure that you choose your group, your team, here it is, English 2, group A, and click on General. In that way, when you are going to schedule the class for group B, so you choose the channel for group B. And click on send. In that way, your meeting will be shown on your calendar, on your calendar, and will be also visible here 
in the main page of your group. So uh, your students then will get a notification. They will get a notification about the meeting that was scheduled for that particular date and time. And they can, uh, or you can also uh, join your meeting from here, okay? Uh, clicking on three, these three dots, you can view them, the settings. And in fact, the, the link of your meeting is this one that will appear on the description box. This is a link, but it's a very long link. I don't recommend you to use this link. Um, it's better for your students to log into the meeting from uh, their institutional email, Teams, and then the meeting. Okay, so, or you can join from there also. If it is now the time for the meeting, you can join from here, for example. Yeah. Let's suppose it's already September 24, 2 p.m. You can join from this button here to be sure that you are, will be opening the correct uh, meeting. That is when uh, those, to, uh, those are the two possibilities to start a meeting. Now, remember that your videos when using Teams are recorded automatically in Microsoft Stream. To go to Microsoft Stream, you just uh, come back to your institutional email, again to applications, and here you find Stream. Go to Stream to check the list of your videos. They will uh, welcome you and go to my content videos. But um, your videos will be uploaded here automatically, but uh, you will find them with this icon color yellow. This means that your videos are private and you need to put them public to, uh, to be like this one, color green. To do so, you just select the video and come to the pencil or edition icon on the right and three panels will be available. Come to the one in the middle, permissions, and click on allow everybody in the organization to see this video and apply. And in that way, your video will be public. Look, the icon changed to color green. Here you can have share, click on share, and this is the link of your video that you will copy on your teaching journal. Here it is, your teaching journal. Let's suppose that this is the class from September 23rd. You have group A. There were five students. This is the topic. Click, uh, paste, paste your link. And uh, after you paste it, okay, give a space so it will become a link. The link should be should look like this, color blue, as it is a link. Don't forget to include obviously the length of the lesson, which you will get from the from the video precisely, and your reflections about uh, the process in that particular class. Okay, guys. So uh, I hope you will enjoy a lot this tool. There are plenty of resources and options that I invite you to explore and use with your students. Bye-bye.